Hey guys, welcome to see our entity Zanash Chetan here and in this tutorial we are going to model cyborg muscle. So now let's get started. To make a cyborg muscle you need to add cube. So add a cube and go to the edit mode and you need to turn on your x-ray mode and then scale it along the z-axis like this and then you need to add 4 loop cuts like this and just if you want to create the shape basic block out shape for the muscle so that's why you need to scale your loop cuts along the x and y axis so you can uh, press s and then shift z and so you can scale it along the x and y axis not on the z axis then you need to add the subdivision surface modifier and then add a loop cuts to tight these edges to get the proper shape for your mesh so add a loop cuts like this so you can see and now you can see we got this shape the basic shape for our mesh our hard surface muscle so now you need to add three loop cuts and just i want to get how many loop cuts i need to add so you can get the idea about it after adding the uh, loop cuts so then i get the idea that i need to add three loop cuts like this so just add three loop cuts like this and now you need to select the faces you need to decide where you want to add more details so you can see in this part i want to add more details so just that's why i need to add a few more loop cuts there so add a few more loop cuts like this and then select the faces and make sure you select all the faces in that particular region then you need to use the select these faces and then there is one option which is the poke faces so just select that poke faces face then poke faces and then face and then try change the trides to chords there is option in the face menu then you need to deselect the triangles because we want only chords so that's why you need to deselect the triangles so just uh, deselect all the triangles and then we will use the simple operations to create that design So just deselect these triangles from the all side. So you can see I'm, I have deselect all the triangles and there are only chords. Then you need to use the insert upon and make sure you check that individual option and give the proper insert uh, uh, thickness amount. And then select these edges which creates the triangle and then dissolve these edges. So control X for that, just select these edges and then dissolve them. Control X for that. And now you need to select these faces which are at the corner. So just you need to select the faces and now they are the chords. We want the chord based geometry so that's why I have removed all the triangles. And you can you can say there are a few triangles at the bottom at the top. We can manage those. Then use the insert operation and give the same thickness amount for these faces. And then you need to select the all faces, all the chords which are there in your mesh. Like this, you can see the grid pattern. And you can use your X-ray mode to select the chords uh, in more quickly. So just select these chords. You can see these are the more like the squares. And whenever you want to create uh, this kind of pattern, that time, make sure you have a good proportion for everything like make sure you uh, you should have squares then you will get the right shape for your right pattern for your uh, model right design so just select these squares and then one more time you need to extrude inside this so just extrude inside this and then press i to insert just to add a loop cut and you can turn on your sub d modifier and if you want then you can increase the sub d level and now you can see our mesh looks pretty well decent kind of design we have created here and just you need to remove this uh, triangle so that's why you need to add few more loop cuts like this now you can see everything is called waste topology is there and then add loop cuts like this so you can see i have added the loop cuts here and then you need to select these faces these uh, squares so just select the squares and press I to insert just to add more loop there so just select these squares 
and then press I and make sure you uncheck that individual option which is there in the insert face and now you can see our mesh we, will, we have got that hard edge on our mesh and that's look pretty well simply we have done this easily we have created this pattern you just increase the uh, subdivision subdivision and then you can remove that subdivisions apply that subdivision surface modifier and when you want to apply your subdi modifier make sure you apply that modifier in the low raise in the low level so first I think about the design which kind of design you want and where you want to add more details and according to that you should apply your sub D modifier otherwise it will create difficulty so you can see that's why I'm uh, thinking and I try to apply and I have created here the backup just for to get uh, the backup in case if I apply the mod modifier and I get the weird result and that's why you can see as I apply this modifier here are too many edges and now I can add uh, more details on it so you can see there are lots of heavy meshes there and that's why you should be careful about when you want to apply your modifier so that's why I always like to keep a backup and then apply the lower mesh in this case you need to apply the low raise modifier the low sub D modifier you can say then add four loop cuts like this and now just you need to create a simple design so that's why you need to select these faces and that's also a task that which faces you should select when you want to create a details you need to find out the center edge so that's why you can use the x-ray mode if your mesh is at this uh, center of the world origin then you will get that guidelines you can see for the X and Z and Z axis so you can easily select the center faces and now I have created the simple boolean on these faces and just I want to with the loop tool and that's not difficult and you can see I'm trying to create a simple design by selecting the few faces so just select the few faces like this and then you can use the insert operation right there and make, I would like to tell you one more time use the insert operation here the weird things is happen and that we can manage just need to scale it down and then you can extrude inside and you can create a simple design on it and you can see I have extrude inside this and I have rotated it with the uh, transform orientation and you can easily rotate your uh, with your rotate tool and just try to create a different kind of design for your mesh that's why your observation is important the hard surface modeling observation and then use one more time insert operation and now you can see image looks pretty well just we need to add few more loop cuts wherever necessary so just add a supportive loop cuts That's why you need to switch in the sub D modifier and non sub D modifier. You can say you need to turn on and off the, your modifier so you can understand where is the dense topology, where is the uh, less topology, and how your topology moves. That's why it's important. So now just need to create the one insert operation, like one loop cut all around the, that geometry. Uh, so we will get the right shape for our mesh so that's why you need to create the one loop at there so that's why you need to select the spaces like this so just select the spaces and then we will use the simple insert operation to create one more loop so we will get that tight geometry around that particular shape so just select the spaces and press I to insert and now you can see our mesh looks pretty well we got the hard edge on that particular part and now you can see the problem I had solved now here I have selected these faces then use the insert operation then use the loop tool and make a circle and then create a boolean simple with the extrude tool and that's not difficult select these faces and use the insert operation to add more loops add there and here also you need to do the same thing scale it down and then one more time press i to insert and give the proper thickness and then extrude inside and then one more time insert and just create like a here i want to create like the button kind of shape for it so just create a simple shape 
don't need to make too many complex things when you want to create any kind of model just try to keep it simple and you can uh, i'm adding more details on this model just for the tutorial purpose so you will get a better understanding how to add more complex details on any model and if you ask me that this is a good design it's not the uh, right from the design sense because uh, here is a too many details and the real server cyber muscle won't had such kind of more extra details like you can see the boolean here and there just uh, that the pattern we have created earlier that much is you know for the design sense and you have to use that design sense also while modeling anything uh, design principles you should know those design principles so that's why your observation is important and you can see here i simply uh, duplicate that faces and then i have dissolved few edges and now i'm creating the simple shape and for this uh, muscle so you just with a simple pebble and insert an extra operation i have created this so you can see i have you use the simple operations here just use extrude bevel and create a simple basic shape then one more time insert here and then one more time insert and then extrude it and scale it down like this then one more time insert it and now you need to select these faces and you can add the more loops like this but which uh, this steps are uh, this method deforms so that's why you need to add the loop cuts manually that will be good in the tapper kind of shape cases so if you have any tapper shape on your mesh that time you don't use that method like this you can use you have to add the word uh, loop cuts manually which will be more good so just so just add loop cuts like this simple loop cuts you need to add on your mesh and then we will create the same kind of part at the bottom so just shift d to duplicate and then rotate it into the 90 degree and move it down like this along the z axis you need to move it and here we will create the simple kind of shape so just you need to move your faces and then create a more taper kind of shape pointed shape for your mesh and then dissolve these edges and add more loop cuts like this because those loop cuts are very uh, very close to a mesh so that's why you have dissolved them and i have add new loop cuts there now select this face and then extrude inside and i want to create a simple kind of shape at there and that's why you can see there are very less loop cuts so that's why you need to add loop cuts like this to make the proper shape for your mesh and now you can see our mesh looks pretty well decent kind of hard surface modeling we have done here you can see the details patterns which we have created on this so thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe my youtube channel bye bye see you in the next video take care